。想要知道一个人的资料，通常身份证拿出来，除了正面的生日之外，翻到背面来，父母亲以及配偶的姓名也都能一目了然。The front of the national ID card is the name and birthday, along with the ID number. Once flipped to the back side, you may see the military status and the permanent address section. Though this is normal for everyone, Mr. Chen's case was special. As he was rejected because he decided not to list his spouse and parents' name on his national ID card. After lawsuits, he won his case. 宪法上对隐私权的保障，呃，一般人在身份目前的制度在身份证上面揭露的资讯有点过多，而且不必要。As Mr. Chen is a lawyer, he stated that while dealing with cases, he thought that the national ID card provided too much information and is easily acquired if fallen into the wrong hands. After a lawsuit at Taipei High Administrative Court, the judge clarified the need for parental information. Yet, spouse information can be optional. After hearing the news of the trial, the Department of Household Registration expressed concerns as they cannot accept the trial's outcome. 这段的法院的判决哈，没有去审视我们当初在呃这个定的时候，身份证是要来识别作用的。The Department of Household Registration was shocked by the trial's results. As a rule set on the basis of a national ID card, is purely for identifying who the person is. Thus, all information, including spouse relationship, is mandatory. 当初在定这个办法的时候，我们其实有征询过，在各户手哈，把问卷请民众来提供意见。At the time, 70% of citizens agreed that information such as parents, spouse, and address of permanent residence is mandatory. Without these listed on the national ID card. It's certainly hard for anyone to tell who the person is and where they are from. As the trial sparked discussions, there is a possibility of appeal to look back into the case of controversy. TVBS English News.